getting my stamps. Hi friends, welcome. Um, I'm Kendra Gaylord. I'm the host of the podcast Someone Lived Here, and I'm also a big fan of postage stamps. Recently on TikTok, I've been posting kind of my opinions about random stamps, and I kind of assumed that I was the only person who had way more thoughts and feelings about stamps than is respectable, but it turns out there's hundreds of us. I'm a big stamp accumulator. I wouldn't call myself a collector necessarily, but I like to know what's coming for the upcoming year so that I can know what to buy and what to like maybe hold off on because there's something I really like coming. So there's 27 stamps that we know about in 2022 so far. I get all my news about stamps from Stamp News Now, which is a real website for collectors of stamps. And they have these pages that have pretty much like every stamp that's coming out that year. And it's a really fun way to just quickly be like, oh, in March, there's going to be a stamp I'm really excited about. Okay, so we have a ton of stamps to go through. So here we go. First up is the Lunar New Year stamp for the Year of the Tiger. These came out January 20th. The masks are made by artist Camilla Chu. Here are the three that exist so far. They're meant to connect back to the decorated mask used for the dragon or lion dances. And here is the original project that Camilla Chu had created that made the USPS reach out for this project. I love that we have nine more of these waiting for us over the next decade. These will be the third set of Lunar New Year stamps. Previous sets were from 2008 to 2019, and then before that, from 1992 to 2003. Every year, the USPS releases a new love stamp, and some I like more than others. The Portland Stamp Company made this extremely helpful PDF of all the love stamps that I'll link below. This year's stamp has two different colorways and are said to be inspired by European folk art. Both this year's stamp and last year's stamp were made by the artist Bailey Sullivan. I just got these in person and I will say the stamps look smaller than I anticipated. They're about the same size as the otters in the snow. I really love the smaller fruit stamps for lower monetary denominations. I think these blueberries fit very well in with the little fruit stamp collection and they're done by the same man who does the Cook's Illustrated covers, John Burgoyne. It wouldn't be the USPS without a flag stamp. These are very similar to some other flag stamps done by the same artist, Laura Stutzman, in 2008. This stamp of sculptor Edmonia Lewis is part of the Black Heritage series. It started during Black History Month in 1978 with the first stamp of Harriet Tubman. Edmonia Lewis is the 45th stamp in this series. Her sculptures are at the Smithsonian and the Metropolitan Museum of Art. The artist who did this portrait is Alex Bostick, who is an artist and professor at Mississippi State University. And then there's two stamps that I don't interact that much with. I don't know if you guys do. I don't run a nonprofit, but there's a new nonprofit stamp around butterfly pollinator type bushes. I've been pretty sick of seeing this one, so you'll probably start seeing these ones, which I appreciate. I think they're, the new ones are very pretty. In terms of these, like, I call them big stamps, but they're the stamps that are like set up for priority mail or express mail. The stamps that they are doing as part of the series are focused on locations around the US. So here is the Palace of Fine Arts, and that's on the 2695 um, express mail stamp. And then this one is Monument Valley, which is on the 895 priority mail stamp. These stamps come out March 3rd and commemorate the 50th anniversary of Title IX being passed. Title IX was a civil rights law that prohibited sex-based discrimination in school programs that received funding from the federal government. This required equal access to sports. In these stamps, there are four silhouettes for a runner, a swimmer, a gymnast, and a soccer player. I'm a sucker for any global stamp. These African daisy stamps are beautiful, and best of all, you can send a card anywhere across the world. Possibly my favorite of all the stamps coming out this year is the Mountain Flora. They were delayed till March 4th because of paper supply issues. The designs were made by Lily Arnold, an artist and printmaker in California who has stunning work. You can see some of her process videos on her TikTok, which are very cool and relaxing. These two stamps feel like a set, and that's because they were both done by Harold Davis, a artist and photographer who has a series of botanical prints. The sunflower stamp is for two ounce mail, and the other tulip image is a regular forever postage stamp. And they're coming out March 24th, making them a pretty good choice for a summer wedding. Next up is Flags on Barns, coming out April 14th. From what I saw, these are only available as coils, which means you're most likely gonna be getting them from people who send out a massive amount of mail. The artist is Stephanie Power, and she does watercolor illustrations of architecture. 
These stamps feature the landscape paintings of George Morrison. I love the color palette of these stamps, and this is one of the reasons I love stamps, introducing me to an artist's work that I had no familiarity with. George Morrison was Ojibwe, and after going to Minneapolis College of Art and Design, he was in the New York Circle of Abstract Expressionists. There are five stamps of his work featured in this collection. These stamps are of Eugenie Clark, who was known as the Shark Lady. She was a marine biologist whose research focused on preserving marine environments and dispelling fears around sharks. I brought up this stamp in my recap and many of the comments were like, how do I get my hands on that Timothy Chalamet stamp? She does not look like Timothy Chalamet, it's just that photo. And it brings up an interesting point about how USPS has to pick photos. And I might do a follow up on that because it might not be the photo that someone would probably prefer to have be their stamp pick. On May 13th, some women's rowing stamps are coming out. There have been two other rowing related stamps from USPS that I could find. One in 1980 for the Olympics and the other in 1967. Both featured male rowers, so it's nice to see a women's rowing team on this one. The Mighty Mississippi stamps coming out May 23rd are focusing on the Mississippi River with a series of stamps with 10 images from the 10 states that the river runs through. I prefer non-photographic stamps, but these are beautiful and I do appreciate the appreciation of waterways. These are the floral geometry stamps that are coming out June 20th, are for the value of $2 and $5. And you can't really tell in this photo, but they are foil stamps, so in real life they'll be very shiny and I have a feeling very pretty. Last stamp with a date is the pony cars that are coming out August 25th. These look really similar to the muscle car stamps that came out in 2013. I'm not a huge car person, although I loved those trucks from 2016, but I do understand that there are many people who like stamps and who also like old cars, and I'm very glad that they're happy with this one. There are also seven stamps that don't have dates yet, so I'm going to go through those quickly, and hopefully we'll know more soon. There is a Shel Silverstein stamp featuring his artwork from The Giving Tree, a book that made me cry while babysitting in 2006. Next up, a series of five mariachi stamps will be coming out. I love the illustration style and bright colors of these stamps. The art is by Rafael Lopez, who has illustrated lots of beautiful children's books. If you wish there were more quizzes in stamps, you'll be excited for these women cryptologists of World War II. There is a cipher on the back of these stamps that you can use to decipher the hidden words on the front. There is a series of distinguished American stamps, and the latest will feature former owner and publisher of the Washington Post, Catherine Graham. In the movie The Post, she was played by Meryl Streep. Pete Seeger is also getting a stamp. He is the folk singer, and this is the forever stamp that'll be coming out sometime this year. I am hoping this National Marine Sanctuary stamps will be coming out sometime this summer. This series has 16 total designs, and otter-like animals are really having a big year with USPS. Last but not least, a stamp with two elephants. Very adorable, has some nice parenting elements. I think this is a, a cute stamp. Thank you so much for watching this video on USPS stamps, and I'd love in the comments if you have any thoughts about stamps. If you've had opinion about a 2013 stamp, I think this is the place. Um, you should enjoy yourself in these comments. If you've made it this far, you might want to subscribe. I'm new to making YouTube videos, but I've done a lot on like old houses, movies and TV, how they all interact together. I hope you don't hate the content, but I'd love to have you here. You can also listen to my podcast. It's called Someone Lived Here. It's on any podcast app. I, um, I really appreciate you watching this far. Thank you.